Here's my dingbat daughter, as I promised, Mr. Leon. Good. Deal's a deal. Oh, look at you. Big City's been really nice to you, hasn't it? Touch me and I'll kill you. Feisty. I like it. Ah, oh, fucking bitch! Hey, get off! Are you hurt? I'm okay. Are you hurt? I'm okay. Who are you guys? The crow belongs to me. Shut him up. There. Now we're even. Hey, I'm here now. A few broken bones should teach him a lesson. Who kidnapped you? Parents, okay? I don't want to talk about it, Christian. Come on, let's go. I need you to do some digging into Summer's parents. They really are her parents. Christian, where are we? How long was I asleep? A few hours. You had a really rough day. Look, this is my home. Well, it could be your home too. If you like, I can get you water, coffee, tea. Betty? Betty? Good. Good Grandma. you're both here. Grandma. I didn't get a chance to get you a wedding present, so I brought you a little something. <laughs> oh, this is too much, Grandma. Oh, nonsense. Nothing is too much for my granddaughter-in-law. <laughs> Nothing is too much for my granddaughter-in-law. <laughs> oh, I have to take care of something in the kitchen. Betty, let's go. Grandma likes you. Pour this into Christian's soup and make sure he drinks it. Uh, are you sure that you want me to stay here? I can just take an Uber home. No, stay. It's, it's late. Are you okay? It looks like you're sweating. What is this, Mrs. Norton? <laughs> I got this from an apothecary. <laughs> it's a potent aphrodisiac. <laughs> A few drops of this, and I will have a great grandbaby very soon. <laughs> Are you sure that you're okay? You're sweating. No, 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 I'm fine. I just, uh, go throw some cold water on my face. You, you have a good night. Betty, Betty! What's wrong with the door? It's Grandma, she... She locked us in here. What's wrong with the door? It's Grandma. She... She locked us in here. Uh, are you sure that you're okay? Looks like you have a fever. I don't have a fever. Sorry, I, j I think Grandma put something in my food. I don't. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go rinse my face. I'll be back. Uh, wait. If you want, I mean, 
We are married after all. Do you know what you're saying? I won't be able to stop. Whoa, a summer? Is that a luchi? <laughs> a luchi? What? Uh, I don't know. It was a gift, so... Uh, as if anyone would gift you a $10,000 bag. It's probably some cheap fake you plucked out of a dumpster on your way home from work. <laughs> Careful, Mrs. Reeve. Jealousy can lead to permanent wrinkles. I just thought you both should know that Mr. Norton just bought our journal. He's gonna get back at you for that interview. You're going down, Kale. And personally, I can't wait to see it happen. Wait, what? That's right. I'd quit now if I were you. Speak of the devil, looks like the new boss is already in town. Miss Kale, Mr. Norton wants to see you. You wanted to see me, sir? Sir? It's not what you called me last night. Miss Reeve? Summer just got called into his office. To men like Mr. Norton, there's nothing more important than reputation. Let's give him a little nudge. I'm so sorry, sir, that Summer just barged in here so rudely, sir. It, it hurts me to say this, but she has become a liability for the company, and I think she should leave permanently. And I think she should leave permanently. Tell me, how has she become a liability? Well, she humiliated you in the interview, sir. And she's disrespectful to her superiors. She bosses her colleagues around. She's really poisoning this company. Uh, this sounds more like Miss Reeves' self-introduction. And I could never live up to that. How dare you insult me in front of Mr. Norton? I've heard enough. You're fired. Hear that? Why don't you go clear out your things and don't let the door hit your pink egg ass on the way out. I meant you. Not her. What? Well, no, that's a mistake. Why would... I don't owe you an explanation. You're not worth my time. Get Miss Reeves out of here. You... Nancy was right. You really are a nasty little bug. Wait! Nancy was right. You really are a nasty little bug. Wait! How do you know Nancy? She's my niece. I see. I can smell it now. The same junk pile you both came out of. Sir, this is a mistake. She's just some sort of stray dog from the park. She's nobody. You were so tough back then. <sighs> just, I'm not used to this, okay? We're in the office. Well, you better get used to it. Who's this Nancy, anyways? My ex-boyfriend's current girlfriend. He left me after I put him through law school for five years. You don't have to worry about him anymore. I think you moved on to something better and bigger. <sighs> nuh -uh. We're in the office, mister. doing? Someone told me to wait at home. And I did as I was told, so I think I deserve a little reward. Oh, 
Look what time it is. 